We are back with some more Texans Legacy franchise, and we are here finally with the draft. We are almost back into some action. Before we um, get into the draft video, before I forget, I did leave a comment about it, but in case you missed it, <clears throat> excuse me, I uh, did change both my playbooks this year, so we're rocking Patriots offensive playbook, Carolina Panthers defensive playbook. That's what we're going to be trying out this season. Um, I forgot to say that in the video, I just pinned a comment in the last offseason video. So just wanted to say it so you guys all know, but the draft should be starting any second. Um, just to remind you what kind of picks we have, we got some, you know, we got a decent amount of picks here. We got one first, one second, one third, two fourths, a fifth, no sixth, and two seventh, or three, excuse me, three seventh round picks. So tons of seventh rounders. Um, honestly, the majority of these guys are probably all going to be backups because we don't have much time to develop people. We only got this season and if it goes smoothly then probably one more after that and that's it and that will be it so um, these first and second round picks are going to be pretty crucial other than that this draft then just drafting backups unless i get someone really really good late um, i'm going to show you guys a few guys i've been looking at um, i started off with corners because i was going to let byron jones walk and i was going to draft a corner but i won darius slay so we scouted a ton of corners and you see a lot of them are all 95 percent super super scouted so i can see basically all their stats i just don't know their true talent besides the two which one's first round and one's one does two there um but because we won darius slay and i didn't really expect Darius slay to be there it's kind of pointless for me to draft a corner year one because we still have pirate i tried trading him i couldn't trade him so we don't really need to draft one um, I probably still will draft one in the second or third round, but as far as our first round pick, I don't really think we need to. So then there's offensive line. Well, I went Orlando Brown. So now our offensive line is pretty much situated. So the only two positions that a first round pick can make an immediate impact would be um, first one being strong safety, which we have a couple here scouted. So we'll have to see. Obviously, we don't have their true talent there. So we're just going to have to go based off stats. Um, this guy's got a hit power, but the ratings there decent, decent, good, solid, great, great. N not, nothing crazy. I mean, those those stats aren't that crazy. Um, then we got here, we got Peters down below. His B hit power. His his um, ratings are a little bit better. He's got elite agility and a bunch of greats and goods. So um, his skills are pretty oh, decent. You know, they're not bad. He's got decent man coverage for a strong safety, which is good. Um, so strong safety is a position that we can spend our first round, and the other one is um, the one I think I'm leading towards. If he gets to me, is this tight end here, this Julian Tatum. Tight end is six six. Um, he's got elite acceleration, elite agility, elite change of direction, great speed, great strength, and good jumping. He looks like a beast. Um, you know, obviously Hayden Hurst had a good season with us last year, but he's getting up there in age. We don't technically need a tight end. Um, but I know the Patriots have a lot of single backs, so it would be nice to have two solid tight ends to, to work with. And I think I'm leaning more towards him as my first round pick. He would be the one that can make the most impact for us, you know, year one. So I think that's what I'm leaning towards. We'll have to see what we get to. We're at pick 23, so we're a ways away. And let's see what we can do. We are one pick away, and we have been low key blessed so far. The tight end that we want is still here, and a tight end has been taken off the board. He was auto-picked because the dude wasn't um, isn't home yet. And so they auto-picked him a tight end, but it was not the tight end we were looking for. We want Julian Tatum. I wish I could see his true talent. I, you, I really hope he's um, first-round talent. I mean, the stats are ridiculous. He's got a lead in a bunch of stats, A, awareness, A, catching, A, medium, A, spec. I mean, his run block finesse isn't even that bad. He looks very, very solid. If the Buffalo Bills end up um, taking him here, I'm going to be a little bit in shambles because the strong safety that I would have chose has been taken. So, um, I mean, I could show you the other strong safeties. It's just, it just could be, it could be sketchy. I mean, we got uh, J.D. Peters here out of Alabama we could choose. He's got 90% scouted. Um, he's got elite agility, you know, not too bad. A awareness, so he's probably a decent overall. Hit power is a little bit lower. The safety that just got took um, had a hit power. So that was the one I was going to choose. He just got picked at pick 20, so just right before me. But like I said, everything can go good here. He might even get auto-picked, so if he doesn't have his draft board set, it should be the top guys, right? It should be like this guy, Bryce Holloman or something, If it, unless he has his draft board set. Oh, I'm going to be a little annoyed, man, because I think that tight end could really help us give Emmett yet again another weapon, help us in our 
you know, dual tight end formations because the Patriots playback has a lot of them. Please do not pick him. He could really help us out. You're one. Yes, we got him. Boom. Love to see it. We get a big time player here to add to our offense that goes straight into the starting line. Mr. Julian Tatum, 6'6. Six, six. Is he hidden dev? Let's go. Hidden dev. 91 acceleration, 85 speed. Very, very solid. That'd be nice if he could be superstar. That would be awesome. And we are one pick away again here for our second round selection and the strong safety. The second one, you know, that was on the list for me is still there. The top guy on my board for strong safeties is gone. He got picked early, like pick 19 or something like that in the first round. It's not early, but in the first already. So no chance of getting him in the second. Um, it was between a strong safety or maybe I go corner and try to get, you know, corner for the future. So that way with Byron leaves, we have someone um we're just gonna go strong safety because jordan poyer regressed so bad so if this guy's at anything of anything decent we will start him um if he's hit a dev that would be fantastic let's see jd j can't speak jd peters he is hit in dev 90 speed really okay i mean that's better that's faster than i thought okay he looks kind of like a crackhead though look at him he looks kind of like a crackhead hey he, that's good that's good we need a crackhead so we'll take it and we are back up on the clock here in the third round and for this pick we're just going back up just getting the best lineman available and i believe this is probably the best one available so far he has a pass block and a impact block so for a backup center um, that's really all we need is backup at this point. We got the stars pretty much figured out. So Tom Short, he is hidden devs. So we are three for three on hidden devs. Can't quite complain. He's got 86 strength. Um, curious to see what those other stats are going to be. We are up in the fourth round. We have two selections this round. And like I said in the last round, this is just backups we're getting. Um, it's probably this pick right here is probably going to be really bad. I'm only picking this guy because I think it's hilarious that he is 5'5". Five, five. We need a third running back on the depth chart behind Damian Pierce and Aaron Jones. So um, Mike Ropes, 5'5", can come be our third guy on the depth chart at running back. I just think it's hilarious that he's 5'5". Five, five. He's probably going to be terrible. Um, <laughs> yeah, 87, 52 strike. This guy is just, he's got 90 change of direction though, which isn't too bad. But 5'5 five, five is freaking hilarious. And with our last fourth round pick here, we're going with a backup left tackle for Laramie. Um, obviously, we could change it around if Laramie gets hurt. We could plop, move around the line, and you know maybe play someone else as a backup. But we did let, I think, three of our backup linemen go. So we got the center. We got the left tackle. I believe we still need a guard. So we'll probably get that in the fifth um, or maybe even the seventh. We've got a million seventh round picks. So this is just backup players. So just you know, We got the depth chart figured, filled out. Mr. Desmond Teague, B, awareness, not expecting much from him. Like I said, just a backup. Just a backup. And with our fifth round pick, remember we don't have any sixth round. We have three seventh round picks, which is a bit ridiculous. It'd be nice to have those at the beginning of the Madden, you know, to get some nice players to try to develop all season long. But um, at this point, this stage of Madden, we're only got a couple more seasons left. They're pretty useless. We need a backup right guard. This guy had C pass block, C run block, and A impact. So, you know, backup right guard, sure. Let's go ahead and snag him, 84 strength. And all these backup linemen are probably going to suck. As long as they're not like 50 overalls, I'm okay with it. We got a long wait, though, and then we got three picks in the seventh to just snag some random people. <laughs> with the seventh round pick, I might as well send these. I'm going to be honest. These are... These are useless for me, man. They're useless. Um, sure, let's get another. Let's see if we can hit on a middle linebacker. What we got? We got a bunch of undrafted guys. We got this guy to Lance, Mr. Lance, right here. He's got D block shed. He looks like an absolute beast. Um, I don't know, man. These seventh round picks this late in our seasons are just they're useless. Anyone got a cool name? Mm, Parish. Jeremiah Parrish. That's solid. He's got A to C on his block shed. Why not? Jeremiah Parrish. Sure. What does he got? Normal death. <laughs> oh, man. And with our second seventh round selection, 
we will pick yet again another random player because that's all that's all we got. That's all we got, man. That's all we got. Um, <laughs> uh, who do we want to pick? We got a bunch of corners scouted. Why not? Let's just take a look. Anyone with good man coverage? He's got F, F, D. Holy moly. All these guys got... This guy's got C. And C press. Okay. Is there anyone with Bs? We got like a late round gem. All these guys suck. Be honest. Where's that guy at the C man? We'll just pick him. Screw it. Screw it. C man. C press. Mr. Edward. 87 speed. Um, he's probably pretty trash. And we have the final pick of the draft. I'm just going to pick a quarterback. He'll be the practice squad guy. Um, we're going to see if we get ourselves the next Brock Purdy. Why not? Let's see if we can find the next Brock Purdy. What we got? We got Kyle Woodley, 6'2", looking nice. We got Sam. Okay, we got Julian right here from uh, Texas. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be KJ Campbell, the, the B throw under pressure? Uh, that, that's actually not too bad. I won't lie. B, deep accuracy. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's get KJ out of Texas State. He's going to be a beast. KJ Campbell, 82, 82 throw power. I might have, I might just have better throw power than this guy. I really might just have better throw power. I cannot throw that far, and I might have better throw power than that guy. Here's the final draft class here. We got a tight end, strong safety, center halfback, left tackle, right guard, middle linebacker, corner, and quarterback. I will be back. Um, we got five, we're going to sim through the preseason. I'm going to you know set everything up, make my cuts, and then I will talk through that, and then we'll wrap up this video. We have made it to our final week of preseason. We have cut down to 53. Um, before I show you the, the team and you know who's going to be starting and stuff, we're going to breeze through our schedule. Um, hopefully, we have a better season this year. I mean, we need to have a better season. We start off with the Raiders, who beat us last season in a close one. Then we got the Colts, who is a brand new user, so we'll have to see how that goes. Then we got Giants, Titans, Lions, Jets, Jags, Patriots of the Week 9 bye week, right in the middle. Then we got Week 10 against the Bears, Vikings, Packers, Jags, Dolphins, Bills, um, who almost played the Super Bowl, Ravens, who beat us last year, the Tennessee Titans, and we ended off with the Colts. So two division games here at the very end. Those could be impactful, you know, depending on how we're looking. I think our team's looking great, though. I think we're looking a lot better this year than last year. We have a lot new additions on the defensive side, which is great. We just got to play better and not turn the ball over as much as well. And then I think things will be much, much better than they were last year. Um, not going to go through everyone I cut. A lot of them are scrubs. I'm only going to go through a few of the rookie guys that I drafted as well. So the first round pick was Jason Tatum. Um, is his name Jason Tatum? Julian Tatum. <laughs> The basketball player screwed me up, but uh, Julian Tatum, he is all three hidden devs are star, by the way, so I didn't get blessed with the superstar, but um, a 6'6 star dev tight end, this could be great for Emma. He's got 91 acceleration, 85 speed, 86 catching, um, very, very solid stats there. Change of direction for a tight end is very good at 85, so I can't really complain there. He's got aggressive catch, possession catch, run after catch, he covers for all the hits on the ball, balance penalties. Um, he could be fantastic right next to Hayden Hurst. Like I said, the Patriots playbook has a lot of single back and stuff, um, a lot of dual tight end stuff going on. So I wanted to get another, um, you know, another good tight end. My other tight would have been Brevin probably uh, out on this other side of Hayden Hurst. But wanted to get a good solid tight end. I am going to start him over Hayden Hurst just because he's a rookie. He can dev pretty tight ends dev so easily. So he will be getting the start first round pick there. Um, offensive line. Uh, you know, pretty simple. We talked about this in the offseason. This is what it was going to look like. Interesting, though, our third-round pick was kind of a monster. I mean, this dude, Tom Shore, he's star dev. He's a 76 with the morale boost there. Um, he looks like kind of a beast. He's got 86 strength. His injury rating's really pretty high. You know, some solid, solid stats. His run blocking's a little poor. Uh, more of a pass blocking guy. I was close to sliding over right guard and starting over right because right just didn't have the best season last year. He got bullied a lot. But I want to try him out at right guard before I just bench him. So if right starts sucking, if we get by week five and he's given up like five or six sacks, I might slide over to our third round pick to right guard and just see how he does there. So we'll let the wait and see. But a really good pick for a third round to get a 75 overall star dead um, center. You really can't complain. Um, quarterback, obviously, Emmett Walters, nothing new there. We got da Davis Mills as our backup. 
We got this dude. How do we know how we got our team? I don't think he was our fullback last year. Maybe he does, but he is our fullback. Aaron Jones remaining the starting running back gig with Damian Pierce behind him. Just going to do like 60-40 Aaron Jones uh, in favor of Aaron Jones. Just like how we get the end of the last season. I think that's what worked best for us with our rookie fourth round pick down here. Um, receivers going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try it a little bit different this year. Usually it was Quentin and Brandon Cooks out wide with Jalen Hyatt in the slot. We're going to change it up with Quentin still our number one, Jalen Hyatt out wide, and we're going to push Brandon Cooks in the slot. He's a little more shiftier, got better route running. He's getting old, so maybe the slot will be good for him to just, you know, be our short yardage guy, a couple little cuts, catch a pass, you know, and um, let the speedster go more out wide for the longer routes and stuff. So we're going to try this. Have Jalen out wide along with Quentin with Brandon in the slot. That is it for the offensive side. Um, only one X factor, man. I'd like to see the offense get another X factor. That would be pretty damn cool. Defense. Here we go. So Jalen Petrie obviously starting free safety. Nothing new there. I am going to roll with our rookie second round pick, J.D. Peters, over Jordan Poyer. Just because Jordan, he's 83. He does have the abilities, but he's slow. You know, he's not really going to depth that much. Maybe J.D. could be our... He looks like a crackhead, though. I mean, look at this dude. He looks a little scary. So that could be good for us. He's six feet tall. Um, he's got okay stats. I like my strong safeties to have good hit power. He's got 80, which is better than Jordan. I think Jordan was in the 60s. So um, it's not the worst in the world. 90 speed. He's. I think he's even faster than Jordan. This is obviously Jordan's got the coverage stats better than him. But I'm interested to try him out out there. See how he does. J.D. Peters, just let him run around and be a freak. Well, I mean, he looks a little scary, so maybe he'll be good for us. He's going to get the start, and we're going to see how he is. Um, I toyed around with maybe moving Diane Henley to the other outside linebacker spot, but I think Anthony Barr still deserves it. He makes plays. He's only going to be out there in our base stuff because these two will be out there for the majority of the time. So Christian, Logan Wilson, and Anthony Barr get the start at linebacker. Corners, we're going with Darius Slay at the one with Stingley out wide as well. And we're going to try Byron Jones in the slot. He's older. Maybe that will help him. He will be our slot guy. Slay hopefully can lock it down. Um, defensive line, pretty obvious. George Rose, Tyree Wilson, Derek Brown, Dexter. Nothing crazy there. Special teams, we got our new kicker, Zan Gonzalez. Still got the same punter. Um, kick returner and punt returner, I am going to try out Mr. Rose. We drafted him because he was 5'5", and I thought it was kind of funny to have a nice little midget on my team but he's a 91 overall kick returner so i was like you know what let's give this guy a shot jalen hyatt probably doesn't even be making those hit taking those hits especially if he's going to be our number two wide receiver now i really don't want him out there getting tired and coming in he's already tired you know in our first play so we're going to try him out he's got 87 speed 92 acceleration good agility 90 change of direction 86 juke move um, we're going to give him a shot. We'll give him a shot at kick returner and power returner. He's going to get a special teams guy. Maybe he makes some plays for us. Um, Jalen Hyatt did have a little bit of fumble problem on special teams, so we'll try out the midget. Maybe it was a blessing that we picked him. Um, I really only picked him because he was 5'5 in the draft. I just thought it was funny. But we're going to try him out there and see how he does. Um, the specialist stuff, I've pretty much already gone over. Nothing new here. I, I almost put Logan Wilson as our number one um, sub linebacker guy. They'll both be out there. But I put Christian there just because he's been here for long, longer than him. And, I mean, look at the speed. 90 and 96 acceleration. He's got to be out there every single play. The man zooms around and makes plays. So he will be our starter there. Byron, like I said, in the slot. Also, Brandon Cooks in the slot with Aaron as our third down back and Damian as the power back. Moved a couple of the rookies to the practice squad that we got. We got um, Forbes, 61 overall. He went to the practice squad. And our quarterback, like I said, we tried getting our this year's um, <laughs> this Madden's Brock Purdy. Didn't quite work out. He's 58 overall. He looks terrible. He's got terrible throw power. But he will be the practice squad quarterback. And that is that for the draft. We're here. We are finally, finally here. We are so close to some week one gameplay. I'm actually excited to play because it's been a long time. To play, like No playoffs for me. I'm itching to get back out there and try to make it happen. If you guys like the draft, let me know how I did. And I'll see you guys in the next one.